Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, CodingPhase.com. In this video, we are going to be talking about if there will be jobs after COVID-19. All right, let's talk about it. All right, guys. So I know some of you guys probably wondering, man, you know, will there be a job for you as a junior developer? Right? You're probably stressing out. You're like, man, I've been busting my ass, working so hard, learning all of the skills, you know, buying courses, signing up to uh, boot camps, going to college, etc. Right? And you've been just working hard and you're expecting something at the end of all of this, right? You're expecting at least a job, something that's going to pay you a decent amount of money and something that you can actually grow, right? And to be honest with you, Guys, there's gonna be jobs, right? Stop stressing, right? Stop thinking that, hey, this economy is down and you're not gonna be able to find a job. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's a lot of jobs being listed right now on Indeed.com, Dice.com, Glassdoor, even right now as we speak, there's companies posting jobs, okay? Like, like it or not, technology is here to stay. Right? This is a skill, same thing as somebody who knows how to cook. You can cook for yourself, you can cook for others, you can work at a restaurant, etc. Like Those are skills that they're not gonna go away. Yes, you're putting a lot of work to learn the skills, but don't think just because you're seeing a lot of this gloomy and, and bad news and burn me down and uh, financial crisis and this stuff and that, right? Stop thinking of those things as something that's gonna stop you to actually get a job. Now, let's break it down. Listen, there's gonna be small companies who are being affected the most right now, like digital agencies, small web development shops, and that's because they really rely on the small businesses to hire them. So for example, you know, the restaurants, the, you know, the real estate agencies, the small retails, the small little boutiques that's local, right? Those companies usually is the ones that hire digital agencies and, and web development shops. And those places right now, they're shut down. They don't know how long they're gonna be uh, out of business. So in reality, there's not that much work going into digital agencies and small development shops, right? But big companies, right? Like let's say for example, Big Pharma, health insurance companies, uh, you got uh, manufacturing companies, right? Those companies right now, they're hiring developers. And there's a lot of companies in Silicon Valley that are still hiring developers. And yes, there's others that are being <laughs> laid off, right? But that's just how it is. It's just like people get laid off every day, B, okay? That's just how it is, right? It's just now everything is being amplified, right? But like I said, Look, this is a skill that's gonna be here for a long time, right? This is something that you're gonna be able to find jobs, maybe not as quick as it was before. This is still a great industry, guys. This is still a great place to work. This is still a great place to actually uh, get jobs, right? Because let's look at the, the numbers. You know, I think there was like something I seen on the news where they're like, hey man, uh, five to 10 million people or even more, I think it was like five to 10% of, you know, the whole United States is out of a job right now. And most of those jobs is usually like, you know, all the bullshit jobs that's out there. This is still a really good option for you guys, especially because, you know, this is a skill-based industry, okay? So the more skills that you have, the more opportunities that you will have, right? If you have the skill, you will get hired because people need your skills to continue doing business. Now, it's actually so much better than being one of the regular people who's going in and trying to find a job after this whole COVID-19 situation happens. Like the guys trying to find that Walmart job or trying to find that FedEx job is gonna be a little bit difficult because you have five to 10 or even 15% of the whole population uh, who was working in all of the type of bullshit jobs. So if you're trying to get into the job market, getting into a, uh, a bullshit job, like, bro, there's, there's gonna be so much competition in there. Like, it's gonna be crazy. Like, it's gonna be crazy. Even for low paying jobs, it's gonna be very crazy to, to find a job and, and, and be able to do it and, and get in there. So the fact that you actually, you know, have a skill, this puts you a little bit higher, higher right? Because you actually could go in and get jobs that most of the, the average American is not gonna be able to get, okay? Like I always told you guys in my other channel, Coding Face, look, there's jobs out there that are hiring people just because they know HTML, 
okay just because they know css right it may be not have the title of front-end developer back-end developer but if you look online on indeed.com there's jobs that's looking for people with your skills okay it could be you know content coordinator uh, content editor product editor like html email developer uh marketing assistant like there's so many different jobs out there that just because you have those skills now you have a new group of what everybody else who don't have the skill okay so stop thinking so negative guys i guarantee you there's gonna be jobs i guarantee you there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for all of you guys stop focusing on on what's out there the negativity like i've been seeing things like this since i started becoming a developer so anyways guys by the way if you like this video make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video okay leave me a comment tell me what you think uh let me know are you looking for for jobs have you been uh, seeing any new jobs popping up in your area, let me know. And by the way, guys, if you really enjoyed this video and you want to support what I do here, make sure you go to codingphase.com. Go try out the service that we have there. It's literally $20 per month. And if you click on the link below, you're going to get probably a percentage off. It could be anything from 30 to 50% off. Okay. So go check it out. Click on the description. See what you got. All right. It's actually pretty cool. You get over 50 courses, right? Everything that you need to learn how to code to become a web developer. Everything that's going to prepare you to become a developer and to become a boss. So if you actually want to become somebody that works independently, this is the time for you too, right? So go check it out. CodingPage.com. Right below, there's the link. All right. So we'll see you guys later.